Hello Sagittarius, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your zodiac reading. As per usual, I shuffled until a couple of cards or a card flew out, two cards flew out. But I already, I usually cut the deck on online, but without thinking I cut it and I didn't want to cut it again because the bottom of the deck was the Empress. Stepping into the Empress's shoes. This is the embodiment of all four queens. All the energies of all four queens. She's getting ready to birth something new. She is the cornucopia of royalty. Your, oh my goodness, this is going to be a good reading. A justice. Oh, you have got justice on your side. And it's the number 11. So we could be talking about I mean, this is right in your crowning energy. You could be dealing with, well, they call that twin flames. I, I, I don't know. Twin flames, true love. Same thing to me. Nine of water, uh, wish fulfillment. So if your wish fulfillment is to be uh, finding your true love, your twin flame, um, you get it. King of Earth, you could be dealing with an Earth sign or someone who has Earth energies. This could be you. But this King embodies stability. It could be a boss, owner of your own business. Stability, security. St stability. Did I say that? Stability, security. He's grounded. What can I say? Grounded, stable, grounded. I'm at a loss for words for this guy because he keeps showing up. And I keep saying the same thing and it gets boring after a while. Love. You are exhausted over love. So this person, you've been trying to move. If it is an earth sign, Sagittarius, no wonder you're tired. You're a mover and a shaker. And earth is like moving a tree. I mean, like trying to move a tree. They need to go slow. Uh, this is not to say that's not a bad thing. Sometimes that's what you need in your life to slow you down. We've got the number six. You're between two columns of six pillars. Very significant. The 12 thrones of heaven. The 12 apostles. This is a spirit is watching over you. That you are on your right path. And you've been fighting for the sake of love. And taming that beast within, and you'll you'll be blessed for it. I'll bring this down a little bit because, well, to get everything into the camera. Seven of fire. Standing your ground. You built this mountain, and nobody is going to take it from you. And the, you know you're magical here, Sagittarius. You always come up with the magic card. Cards. Four of water, there is an opportunity coming in, and you're not exactly sure if it's acceptable, but you are looking at it. In other decks, um, it's about missed opportunities. Oh, someone from your past. So, it could be that this twin flame is coming back from your past, that you two had to separate. At the heart of your reading is the moon. Things that aren't revealed yet. Working on yourself. But we have another number nine here. Eighteen broken down. Eight and one is nine. That's a wish fulfillment. Things will be revealed. Things are going to work out. I know it has to do with hidden secrets and secret agendas. I think what's happening here, this justice and this wish fulfillment they're working it out in themselves you have the justice this this secrecy card at the heart of it it could be you not revealing certain things like your feelings like the fact that you you're mourning for this person longing for this person you could be hiding that fact from them what is the temptation we'll find out so we have another six Five and one is six and six. This is you moving into a uh, uh, 
peaceful, more peaceful energy. Three of air. Oh boy, was your heart broken. This could have been a betrayal. Um, Three-party situation. Mm. Ow. This is a brand new beginning. Brand new beginning. And it's going to begin in clarity and truth. So all things that were hidden are going to come to light. Messenger of water. This is working on yourself. Realizing your value, your worth. Not being arrogant about it. There's always that danger. So keep yourself in check, Sag. But you are royalty. Act like royalty. Not in a smug or arrogant way. But in a gracious, compassionate, queenly way. This messenger, she's practicing to be the queen. And the empress showed up. So you're, you're, you know that you're getting ready here to step into empress shoes. Mm hmm we're gonna clarify this open up this story a little more before we go to the website for an extended reading and for those of you who are not members if you're interested one the cost of one extended reading gives you access to all the extended readings for a month of all the zodiacs and all the afternoon delights it is a subscription fee but you can cancel any time so do come and check it out one of the added bonuses there and the bonus that I absolutely love and enjoy immensely um, is ask me a card or ask me for a card under one of those extended readings and I'll pull you a card. It's a great way to get to know you guys. I love doing it. It's the first thing I do in the morning and the last thing I do at night. Just why am I still shuffling? A card flew out. I also pull a card today at Facebook. I don't know if I did today yet or not, but I'll check. And I'm caught up on personal readings. So you're in luck if you want a personal reading back to you in the next day or two. Page of Wands. It's your crowning energy. Did we cut the deck? Oh, yeah. Betrayal. There was betrayal here. Ah, uh, you could be dealing with your twin flame, your own true love, cheating, or betrayed you in some way, not necessarily cheated, but it does look like there was a third party involvement in some fashion, but there is a message, this justice coming in, there's a message, you're going to find out something that's going to make you very happy about this person, and it's going to bring a wish fulfillment right now. I think this person is in hermit mode, but it is indicating that you are. This was pretty crushing for you, this betrayal. It looks like something in the past that you went through and you're going, you're still in hermit mode. Um, looking back at it all. But the hermit, the light that he carries comes from the Empress. That's the right side of the brain. The right side of the brain is fed to us from our, you know, our dream states, our imaginations, our creativity fed from the source the emperor and the empress they give the light to the hermit to light the way through the left side of the brain which is logic and reason you know the head over heart so so that there's a balance so your wish fulfillment these things are going to be revealed to you sag in a way that is going to bring you into the realm of an empire this person twin flame soulmate true love is holding on for dear life and look at his face he's 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 losing sleep it's aging him or her heartbroken they don't know how to fix it but they're holding on for dear life can also yeah could also be saving money but I don't think that's the case here balance love oh my sad you're just like exhausted 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 trying to balance in a tumultuous uh, like those ships are ready to sink but you're finding balance and you know what 
it's you are still balanced sort of but it has a risk of going back into imbalance so you're resting resting hermit mode we have the figure eight here this is about bringing uh, intention law of attraction into reality this is making things real building your world through uh, spirit work you can have anything you want Sag if you know how to do it people call it magic others call it law of attraction mastering it you're wanting to master you're trying to master this you're bringing things back into balance in your life but it risks going out of balance because of this this holding on you're standing your ground this is my mountain this is what I built and there's conflict inner conflict outer conflict but Sag these are wands that are blooming there is love here there's love this opportunity that's coming in is coming from the universe that's what you manifested coming in and it's coming in very fast oh my goodness really really fast they're thundering in yeah rest up for sure you're resting up because this opportunity coming in will be coming in like thunder here's you becoming the empress grieving in the past perhaps you felt like an empress in the past and you grieve losing it perhaps you're uh, um, a man watching this reading and grieving for your empress the thing is Sage here's the truth other than the right brain thinking and the cornea a cornucopia of abundance the very truth of it is this grieving the Empress does not reign alone the Empress reigns with her Emperor the moon things being revealed the Sun's got oh my goodness the Sag Sagittarius we've got the Sun and the moon counterparts I don't know what that is X I X what number is that 19 I don't know 18 19 succession succession to the throne being crowned in glory what's the temptation is that that three-party thing what is the temptation oh the temptation is throwing it back in their face making them pay building bad karma if you can't have forgiveness you you get bad karma I'm not saying take this person back because it's this person you know was physically violent to you or is it you know a sex addict or something that's something they've got to work out but if you cannot forgive them you're building your own bad karma that's the temptation here the temptation is to wish ill on this person who hurt you you may feel like they destroyed you <clears throat> this is where hermit mode and empress help balance you right brain left brain balance forgiveness head over heart but compassionate this is your Sun and Moon card this is you rising this is you rising Sag call in good karma because when you pay karmic debts you get karmic rewards forgive 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 And the rewards will be a hundredfold I promise you that I have testimony to that a hundredfold do your work going within 
this battle, this inner conflict, trying to get this balance, right brain, left brain, trying to get that balance. But you have to forgive. Even if you're moving on, you still have to forgive. The temptation is to become bitter, to hold on to this. This could be you holding on to this hurt. It has to be cleared out. That's what the hangman does. He he thinks about what has to be cleared out. What has to, you know, house cleaning. And you can do this physically too, Sagittarius. You know, you can physically house clean to get rid of things that no longer are any good to you. To make room for something new. That's what the Empress is. She wants to birth something new. This heartbreak. Possibly there was no equal give and take. But what's happening here with this heartbreak is that equal give and take is trying to balance out. You were betrayed. There was no equal give and take. But this is a very positive card too, Sag. Finding your finding your own balance, giving and taking, how much you will give, how much you will receive. Learning to receive instead of inflict. You have victory over this new beginning. You have victory. Fresh new start. No baggage, no animosities, no bad energy. Just moving on. Look, and you're so happy. Victory. You're recognized for it. They're like, what is up with that Sag? Like, they're incredible. That is the marriage wreath, though, by the way. It could be victory in marriage. And speaking of the hangman, there he is. There he is. Finding out your own worth. Without the arrogance. Without the vanity. Without the animosity. You are a fire queen. And you are awakening. And the universe wants to give you this coin. This incredibly valuable diamond. You are that diamond. Wish fulfillment is yours, Sag. It looks like you did the work. And struggling, struggling not to fall back into this temptation of the same cycle and allowing that anger to take over your life. We're going to see where this relationship is going at the extended. I think it's very promising. Um, and I hope you join me over there, Sag. And I want to thank the Sagittarius people that are subscribed to me and, and uh, who hit like and joined over at the website thank you so much so much for your support even hitting the like button gets my message out there and it's so helpful god bless you all bye for now